Hello, this is Guido, and I want to show you guys today how to buy Ripple or XRP on Binance. Um, as you may know, Binance is the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchange. So it's the number one place where people actually trade cryptocurrencies. And because of that, it also has the highest liquidity. So it's actually pretty easy for most of the cryptocurrencies to get into a position or get out of a position um, for a fair price. If you don't have a Binance account yet, feel free to sign up with the link down below. And with that link, you actually save 10% uh, of the trading fees uh, for a lifetime. So it's a lifetime discount of 10% of the trading fees. Um, once you signed up for Binance, um, you can actually see the dashboard. And because you can trade cryptocurrencies against fiat currencies on Binance, like US dollar or euros or any other crypto or any other currency, and you don't need to verify your identity. So you only need an email address and a password in order to sign up for Binance. And you can do a verification and a KYC, know your customer process, and but that's only necessary if you want to withdraw more than two BTC per day. So if you want to trade a bit more than 2 BTC or withdraw a bit more than 2 BTC per day, you actually need to do the KYC process. But until then, um, there's no need to do anything be, um, except for signing up. So once you have an account, you can actually start depositing money on Binance. And that works if you click here on Wallet and then Exchange Wallet. And here you have the wallets and then you can just choose deposit. And let's say we want to deposit Bitcoin here. Click on Bitcoin. And now we can actually see a Bitcoin address here that we copy. And then we can actually um, send Bitcoins to that address. If you don't have Bitcoins yet, you can use um, other platforms like Coinbase. Um, I have a little link down below to Coinbase. And that's actually very cheap to buy. And Bitcoin if you have if you use Coinbase Pro. And with that link down below, you can actually get 10 USD in Bitcoin for free if you deposit or buy Bitcoins for at least 100 US dollar on Coinbase. It's actually a pretty good deal. And once you have your Bitcoins, you can actually send them to Binance. And if you copy that address and add it at Coinbase. And just make sure you um, check the first few letters or numbers and the last few letters or numbers, and just to make sure you know, the address is copied correctly. And once you have done that, um, you will actually see the Bitcoins in your wallet. So here's my wallet and you can see I have some Bitcoins in here. I have BNB in there and I have Tether USDT in there and some other stuff. So um, next thing I want to show you guys is here you also have the option to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin on Binance, but you have to know that it actually costs or the fees add up to 4%. So if you buy a Bitcoin on Binance, let's say you want to invest 100 USD in Bitcoin and buy Bitcoin worth 100 US dollar, um, you would actually get Bitcoins worth 96 US dollars because all the fees and spreads between buying and selling price are adding up very quickly. And so it usually adds up around 4%. So it's usually cheaper to use another platform, as I said, Coinbase, for example, where you actually only pay um, 4%, uh, where you only pay 0.25 or 0.5%, depending where you're buying. So once we have money in our wallet, we can actually start trading. And what we need to do now is we need to go here and then let's say I want to buy XRP against BTC. Then I can just choose that one here. You can see now we have XRP against BTC. You can see the order book here and the current price. You have all the selling orders here, all the buy orders. Here you have the chart of the price. Um, it's again, it's a BTC price here. Could also do it against um, 
USDT, so Tether. Then you attract XRP against Tether, and you can see the price here is 21 cents currently. Um, I will do that to the side here, or to have a bigger screen. Okay, let's say we want to buy XRP now. All we have to do is have to click on exchange here, and then we can either do a limit or a market order. So a market order will get executed immediately. Let's say we want to buy, I have 50, 51 USDT in my account. So let's say we want to invest all of them in XRP, then we just have to click 100%. And then we can click buy XRP and it will, the order will get filled immediately and I will have XRP immediately. I could also do a limit order here. Let's say I want to invest 50%. And I could also change it manually. Let's say I want to buy 100 XRP. And I can say, okay, if the price drops to 19 cent, I want to buy them. Then I click buy. And as you can see, um, the order, because it's a limit order, and the limit order will only get executed if the price drops to 19 cents. Um, you can see here it goes into the order book and it stays open until um, the price reaches 19 cent. And then the order will get filled and I will have my XRP. I could of course um, cancel my order at every point or at every time. So if I say okay I want to cancel it, just click cancel and that's it. So that's how we buy XRP and when, to, when we want to sell it, we just have to um, use that one here, sell XRP. We can do a market order, say, okay, we want to sell all of them and then click sell XRP or we say do a limit order. We want to sell all of them if the price goes to $1. We click sell XRP. Oh, I must have at least 10. Um, so yeah, I only have a few here and there, so I need a bit more to sell it. So I need to have 10 XRP in order to sell it. That's a minimum here for trading. Um, however, that's two euros or so, so it's very cheap. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, here you also have a trade history of the last trades that happened on Binance. And another thing we want to talk about are the fees. So if you trade on Binance, it's actually pretty cheap. Um, if you trade less than 50 BTC per month, which I assume will most of you do, um, it's 0.1% taker or maker fee. So maker fee is a limit order, taker fee is a market order. And it actually gets um, cheaper if you use BNB. So if you have some BNB in your account, you can automatically use that to pay the trading fees. It will, Binance will do that automatically. So there's no need for you to do anything. You just need to activate it. Then you pay 0.075%. And with my link um, down below, you save another 10% of that. So it actually gets pretty cheap to trade on Binance. And there's also deposits and withdrawals fees. So the deposits are free. And for the withdrawals, you basically just pay um, the network fee. So let's assume you want to um, wire Bitcoin back to your Coinbase account in order to sell it, and you can just um, you can just withdraw them, and you only pay like zero 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 twenty one and BTC, so it's less than a euro or less than a dollar. So it's actually pretty cheap to withdraw it and it's just a network fee. I hope I could help you and how to sh and show you how to buy an XRP Ripple on Binance. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you like that video, I would be happy if you click the like button. Thanks for watching.